On May 19, 2018, I joined 1.9 billion people around the world, eyes glued to our screens as we witness history in the making. Prince Harry was marrying Meghan Markle, the first black biracial woman to join the British royal family. This excitement was electric, and as a citizen of the Commonwealth, seeing a mixed race princess felt like a personal triumph. It was representation at the highest level, a reflection of my own family and countless others. The ceremony itself was breathtaking, a beautiful blend of two cultures that inspired hope for a new era. It seemed like a new day had dawned for a thousand year old institution that finally mirrored modern day families. But within a year, this modern day Cinderella story turned into something out of a Black Mirror episode or the Twilight Zone. Articles after articles, royal experts and reporters began to paint Megan as this difficult duchess. Each story was laced with discreet doses of racism and misogyny, transforming a tale of love into a saga of relentless scrutiny. The narrative felt disturbingly familiar, striking a chord deep within me. I scoured the internet desperate to find others who felt the same indignation and frustration. Instead, I found an overwhelming amplification of the hate. One weekend, as I binged on royal docu-series, I stumbled upon a suggestion, Royal Sussex, and it was live. I dared to click, and in that moment, I found my home and my people. Soon after, I discovered Duchess of Success, Sherry and Shade, and others. I watched religiously, then subscribed, and eventually became a member. I daydreamed of adding my voice to the space, but my inner critic and his best friend, Mr. Saboteur, kept saying, no, no. However, the universe had other plans. An unexpected emergency trip to the hospital, where I was 15 minutes away from a fatal cardiac arrest or stroke, was a stark wake-up call. The doctor's words were clear. I was incredibly lucky. That day, I realized life's fleeting nature and decided to live without regrets. It was time to drop and stop dreaming and just start doing. So, on September 25th, 2023, Majesty's Sussex Report was born. My mission was clear to fight back against the attacks and misinformation from the British media on Harry and Meghan, support their initiatives, and promote a balanced lifestyle. From exploring the complexities of the stepmother archetypes and addressing racism and discrimination in medical settings, to creating mindful meditation series and discussing critical topics, also reviewing Endgame, We've done it all, it seems. And we've done it with honesty, creativity, and some depth. Our content is both entertaining and educational, standing firmly in the truth. Slowly, we began to gain subscribers and supporters. With their help, we've continued to spread our message to like-minded individuals growing stronger together. This is our journey, and it's only just beginning, I think. I want to thank you for being a part of it. Together we can continue to support Harry and Megan, fight against injustice, and create a positive impact. Let's keep standing in our truth with honesty, a dash of creativity, and always with depth.
Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for joining me on this very special episode of Majesty Sussex Report. In just a few months, this channel will be one year old. Can you imagine? It's incredible to think about how much has changed since I started. My friends who used to tease me now actively discuss Harry, Meghan, and the royal family with me. I still get nervous every time I press record, um, but I'm becoming more comfortable, which helps to calm me down and calm my anxiety, and that reduces my stuttering. Thank God for that, <laughs> because it means less time editing and having to re-record things like 10 times or whatever. We are close to reaching 2,000 subscribers, which I know for some it's not a big deal. They're probably like, oh, 2,000? Oh, come on. Listen, I was celebrating when I got to 200, when I got to like 500, when I got to like 600. So getting close to 2,000 um, is a big deal to me, which is a blessing and a wonderful surprise. We've, we've experimented with a few ideas, some of which you've loved and others you ignored, right? <laughs> because you're like, I don't think so, Antonio. Your encouragement has been a beacon of light um, during some of my most challenging days. Even when you didn't know what I was going through, your support gave me joy and hope. We've had our share of miscommunications and disagreements, but you've always given me grace, believed in my creative approach, and supported my intention to educate and inform on serious and sensitive topics. I've gotten very emotional at times, and I almost did a second ago. And you've told me not to change, that it's okay, which I really, really appreciate. You've also suggested that I control my giggle, which I've tried to do. Uh, but honestly, I find a lot of stupid things funny. <laughs> and um, when I make mistakes and stuff like that, it's it's sort of my coping mechanism. That's what my one of my therapists said a while ago. So, but I've tried to control it as much as possible and also edit out when I giggled way too much. So you might be asking and wondering, well, what is this all about? What is he doing exactly? Well, what I'm doing is I sort of, you know, in some businesses they do a quarterly review or maybe a half year. I think it's important with anything we do to sort of do a review, right? To see the things and celebrate perhaps the things that you've accomplished, um, the, the challenges that um, you've had and, you know, how you've come out on the other side. And moving forward, what, what it may look like moving forward or, or ideas that you may have. Also, it gives you an opportunity to um, answer some, some comments or questions that have been outstanding. So this is what I'm going to try and do, sort of give everyone a bit of a retro and also um, give a little bit of an understanding as to, you know, what and how I see the um, channel and what I, I, I would like it to, to, to be and um, hopefully you will you will all support that and um, we will continue to um, grow words are things I'm convinced you must be careful about the words you use or the words you allow to be used in your house. In the Old Testament, we are told in Genesis that in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God and the Word was with God. That's in Genesis. Words are things. You must be careful. 
careful about calling people out of their names, using racial pejoratives and sexual pejoratives and all that ignorance. Don't do that. Someday we'll be able to measure the power of words. I think they are things, I think they get on the walls, they get in your wallpaper, they get in your rugs, in your upholstery, in your clothes, and finally into you. Oh, Dr. Maya Angelou, so wise, our eternal vessel of wisdom. Welcome back. I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you, to subscribers, I never take you for granted. I know that I am as good as my last podcast. You've been with me on this journey and so many of you have stuck around and I appreciate that. And you have given me ideas, comments, and when things don't go all that great, you are always there to make me feel okay. So I thank you very, very, very much. To my members, you are my King Arthur round table, filled with wisdom and encouragement. Thank you for believing in me, in my approach, in my vision, in my mission, in my creativity. Your advice to not put too much pressure on myself is, is truly humbling. And I am grateful to each of you. Thank you so very much for being part of this journey um, of this channel. Thank I'm excited you. to share with you the journey and vision of Majesty Sussex Report. This channel has grown and evolved over, it's not even a year yet. Um, our tagline, Royalty Redefined, perfectly encapsulates our mission. Just as Prince Harry and Meghan are redefining what it means to be royal, we aim to redefine what it means to be, you know, a channel on, on, on this modern media platform. So our, our channel is guided by nine pillars. I know, sounds like a lot, but they're very important pillars to us. Truth, creativity, holistic approach, excellence, fairness, empathy, integrity, innovation, and reliability. These principles shape everything that we do. In performing an honest evaluation, I would say that we've done pretty okay in all of our pillars, with the exception of reliability. Some weeks we have four to five episodes that are posted and others one. When it comes to excellence, we will never reach excellence. Why? Because we aim, we aim every time, each time we upload an episode, be certain that we have aimed to reach excellence. But you see, we critically think that excellence is never reached. Therefore, we will always be trying to do better. Our holistic approach aims in some ways to mimic the way we are. We are multifaceted people, same as Megan and Harry. And what we are trying to do is to be holistic in a way that still stays within our niche. So, Megan and Harry are interested in yoga, meditation, music, and as American Riviera Orchard comes online, we are sure to see other features like cooking, um, maybe more travel, and recipes from around the world, and other things that 
will be of interest to us. So to provide holistic approach in our content creation, we bring to you the different types of series and we will continue to do so. We hope you enjoy them. We also bring to you dossier where we focus on one particular aspect. And our dossier is sort of like a short presentation. It shouldn't last more than five to 10 minutes. We've brought to you already courage and also the stepmother. And there are times where we would want to go deeper in a particular subject or a particular theme. And for that, sometimes it's 30 minutes, 45 minutes talking about a specific theme or subject and how it may affect us directly one way or another. All of this stemming from our main source, which is the Sussexes, Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and how they live their life and the ramification of their existence and the things that they support and do and the consequences of it and how do the people and the institutions react to it as they continue to redefine what it means to be royalty. We will be doing the same thing, redefining royalty. Wait, let's not forget perhaps the most important pillar. Actually, it's not a pillar, it's the roof. And that is you. You are the most important ingredient. With your subscription, your membership, your views, your likes, which you're sharing with all of that, you make this channel what it is. I thank you for being our supporter. I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for liking. I thank you for sharing. I thank you for being a member. I thank you. And for anyone who wants to join, come on board and be part of this journey together. As a diverse group, we may not always agree on every topic or perspective presented on this channel. However, this diversity of thought is precisely what enriches our community. Each piece of content is crafted with care and intention, aiming to foster understanding and open dialogue. It's important to engage with these different viewpoints respectfully as they help us grow and learn from one another. Recently, we discussed the blatant racism faced by Meghan Markle. Despite continuous denials from various media outlets and people in general, it's crucial to expose these truths. 
For instance, Joe Marney, the girlfriend of UKIP leader Henry Bolton, well, now ex-girlfriend and former leader, made offensive remarks about Meghan Markle in a private WhatsApp message, which were later exposed. These messages are painful, but necessary to confront. There are always two philosophies on this matter, whether to show such messages or not. I believe in validating Meghan Markle's experiences by showing evidence. It's not about shock value. It's about validation and exposing the truth. My aim is to bring a multifaceted approach to this channel, whether it's discussing current events, exploring the complexities of racism, or addressing the challenges faced by minorities. I ensure that the content is well-researched and respectful. I also consult with others when needed to ensure the highest quality and sensitivity. Words have immense power to shape narratives, evoke emotions, and influence perspectives. My goal is not merely to entertain, but to enlighten, to challenge preconceived notions, and to foster empathy and understanding. When I delve into sensitive topics like racism and discrimination or mental health struggles, I do so with utmost care and respect. These issues are not abstract concepts. They are lived experiences that have profoundly impacted countless individuals. By sharing personal stories and providing factual evidence, I aim to validate these experiences and give voice to those who have been silenced or marginalized. Take, for instance, the vilification of Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. She has been subjected to relentless attacks, her mental health struggles dismissed, her experiences of racism denied. In response, I chose to present undeniable proof of the abhorrent WhatsApp messages exchanged by individuals in positions of power, revealing the deeply entrenched racism and dehumanization she faced. Now, some may question the need to confront such disturbing content. Look, I, I know we, we're all sick and tired of it. Right? We, we, we live it. We, we, we breathe it. It's, 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 it's enough to have to walk and, and constantly, day after day, deal with microaggressions and everything as a person of color, as a black person, as a minority, we need to face. However, as I stood before the shackles, displayed in the National Museum of African American History and Culture. I realized that ignoring the harsh realities of the past and present is a form of denial. The shackles of oppression have evolved, taking the form of words and narratives designed to silence and subjugate. When Pierce Morgan repeatedly challenged Megan's truth and labeled her a liar, he was metaphorically shackling her, denying her the fundamental right to self-expression and autonomy. These microaggressions, often dismissed as harmless jokes or generational differences are the insidious thread that weaves the fabric of systemic oppression. By sharing these stories and, and, and exposing the ugliness of racism, look, I, I, I do not seek 
to shock or, 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 or trigger discomfort. Rather, my intention is to validate the experiences of those who have endured such injustices and to challenge the complacency of those who remain willfully blind to them. Ultimately, my goal is to spark a ripple effect, to reach even a single person who may have been trapped in a tunnel of one-sided narratives and limited perspectives. If I can aspire or inspire rather, someone to question their beliefs, to seek out alternative viewpoints, and to embrace a more nuanced understanding of complex issues, then my efforts will have been worthwhile. Words have the power to heal or to harm, to uplift or oppress. As a storyteller, I chose to wield this responsibility with mindfulness. I take it very seriously. I want to amplify voices that have been silenced and to foster a more compassionate and just world. So there will be times where you will not agree with me. You will take the other stance and say, we don't need to see this. We don't want to see this. And I absolutely and completely understand. And you have to write. Because believe me, I'm sick and tired of it too. But sometimes we have to show it. As the queen the late queen used to say, we have to be seen to be believed. Sometimes we have to show it for them to believe it. Because if I don't overcome it, it'll overcome me. Because if I don't open my eyes, how will I see? Because if I don't speak, how will I be heard? <laughs> because if I don't make peace with it, I'll be at war with it. <laughs> because if I never fall, how will the seasons change? <laughs> She's been because if I don't push back, I'll never take flight. As we come to an end of this episode, I hope that you've seen the purpose of it and you have a better understanding of my intentions the intentions of this channel. For me, it's an absolute honor and privilege to be able to do this. I do it with the utmost care. I am committed to providing you with valuable content that entertains, educates, informs, and Sometimes it challenges you, challenges us. Your support and feedback are crucial in this journey. Together we can continue to make a difference and shine a light on the truth. I thank you. I thank you for being part of this journey with me. Let's continue to redefine royalty, stand in our truth, and create a positive impact together. If you're not a subscriber yet, do subscribe, join our community, and let's make a difference. Take care. 
Love you all. Until we speak again. Mm-hmm.